Today we're going to take a look at the user interface within Synchro Pro. So first thing we're going to want to do is load a project into Pro. We'll go to File, Open, and then Private Project. So once you've downloaded uh, Synchro Pro to your computer, uh, under your C drive you'll have the training files under Users, Public, Public Documents, Shared Synchro Projects, tutorial files, Synchro Pro training, SP files. Then under your SP files, we're going to want to select the training building assigned by double clicking. So another way to open or access your, uh, your projects is by just directly going to the file stored in your computer and double clicking on the file it'll open up Synchro Pro and open your file. So as you can see here is that we've loaded our, our schedule and we've loaded our Gantt chart here. As we can see under my 3D objects uh, they're not checked off. Once I check off my 3D objects I can see my model within my 3D window. So let's take a quick look at uh, the different options in the interface here as we have our ribbon up at the top here that gives us our different uh, options and commands. Then we have our toolbars. We have one on the left here, one on the right. We'll get into those in a little bit. We have our 3D window, which we uh, just mentioned with the loading of the 3D objects. And then we have our uh, task list and our Gantt chart here. So within our Gantt chart, we can use our uh, focus time and we can scroll through our project and you can see within the 3D uh, window our project being built here. So the toolbar on the left here, it's more of a, a general toolbar. As we mentioned, we have our 3D objects, resources, more of our general items. The toolbar on the right here, that's more of a, our specific items, right? Is that when you look, we have our task properties, resource properties, kind of 3D view properties. So then if I went in, I scroll in here and I select this here, you can see under our user fields, it gives me all the uh, properties or attributes associated to that uh, resource. So now if I select another object here, it'll give me all the common uh, properties as well, right? And then if we go to our task properties, you can see it gives us all of our uh, information for the task selected. Again, if I selected multiple tasks, it's gonna just show me the common info between the tasks. So up at the top here is we have our different ribbons. So if we go to our plan ribbon, it gives us uh, all our different planning info here. You can see uh, for creating tasks, moving tasks, uh, our calendars, creating baselines, and then if you look at the end here, we even have filters. So you can see here when I selected the filters, it opened up a new tab on our left-hand side here, our left-hand toolbar. So now when you take a look at our 4D review, you're going to see that tasks and filters are there as well. So the way the uh, ribbons are, are constructed is so that uh, you may have the same functions and multiple ribbons that you don't have to... Uh, jump back and forth to different ribbons when you're trying to do a, a review task or a plan task. Wherever these functions fit the best, they may be in multiple different ribbons. So the two most common that we're going to use is Windows and uh, Navigator. So for Navigator here, you're going to see external data, user fields. So if I click on those, uh, it's going to open tabs. When we go to Windows, uh, this has our EVA graphs uh, based on your earned value. If you have a cost loaded schedule, we have user fields graphs. You see with this, it's going to open uh, new windows. So with these windows here is that you'll see too is there's a 3D. We can have multiple 3D windows. If we grab at the where the name is in our 3D window, we can move this around. And as you can see, there's these little kind of gadgets on the edges on the side. Wherever I want to move that window, you can see here, I'm going to hit the window on the gadget, and that's where it's going to move it to, right? 
So let's say uh, I want to put it up beside my schedule here. I can put it there. So if I move it out and it's just in the center here, if I double click on the name at the top, it's going to push it back to where it originally was. So that's pretty much it for the user interface. I would suggest before moving on to the next uh, videos is maybe get yourself familiar with the ribbons, especially the navigator and window ribbon. These are probably your two most important or the two most used ribbons. Uh, as you can see here, it has most of our common and property panels. Uh, your common is most of your left-hand side toolbar and your properties would be your right-hand side. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.